Welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a quick look around the new Minox BL 8x44 HD binoculars. These roof prison binoculars have an uh, open bridge body design uh, and that is rubber coated. Uh, this design of body um, tends to make it not only more secure to hold on to but um, depending on materials used can often lead to save, uh, weight saving. Uh, on the front they have some tethered objective lens covers uh, which is a really great feature in the fact that they, it's, they connect to the body but if, if you don't want to carry them around or you don't like them hanging below your binoculars when you're glassing you can quite easily take them off and put them back. The ocular lenses on these are protected with a, a rain guard uh, made from a, a flexible plastic or rubber. What I do like is the, the bridge in the center is quite flexible which means that it will adjust to whatever setting you've left your binoculars at so you don't actually have to open completely open your binoculars every time you you replace or put them back the twist up eye cups have four fixed settings so from fully fully closed to two intermediate to fully extended uh, this should give most eyeglass wearers um, plenty of of adjustments to, to to enable that they get the setting exactly right for their needs the focusing, the central focusing wheel, nice and large. Uh, it turns really nice and smoothly. Uh, it takes one and a half full turns to go from near focus to uh, infinity. This is about average, um, meaning that it, it, it gives you a nice balance between um, speed of focus from near to far, um, but also making sure that it isn't too hard to make really fine adjustments to get the focus uh, spot on. The slightly larger than normal 44mm objective lenses on these uh, means that what they will do is they'll be they'll have the potential to actually collect a little more light than the standard 42mm objectives. Um, this, combined with you know the the really good coatings, uh, fully multi-coated optics, and uh, uh, on these on these binoculars will mean that more of this more light gets through to your eyes. They produce a slightly larger exit pupil. Um, meaning that in low light these um, will seem to produce a, a brighter image than than binoculars than, than the you know sort of standard 8 by 42 millimeter binoculars the slight trade-off is obviously with larger lenses you know it's a tiny bit bigger and, and a tiny bit heavier than the standard 42 millimeter ones another point to mention about the objective lenses these they're set at about I measured to about um, 9 or 10 millimeters um, in, inside the ends of the barrels. Uh, this provides um, a good amount of protection from, from, from the sun so you don't get um, lens flaring but also from, from you know, dust and, and even if you're, you're glassing out in, in really light rain um, the overhang will protect the lenses from getting wet or you know, dusty in, in dry conditions. As with most binoculars the diopter adjustment setting ring is located on the right hand eyepiece um, between the barrel and, and the, the ocular lens. Uh, it's on these it's it's not lockable but it has enough friction when you turn it that's you know it shouldn't uh, easily turn accidentally um, what I do really like and what a lot of binoculars uh, manufacturers forget out there is these have um, Minox have printed a really nice scale um, over there so you know should your setting not be neutral uh, say something like that it's quite easy to remember where you set it at and should someone come and move it for you or it does move accidentally it's quite easy to return it or see that it's been uh, moved accidentally and return it quickly to um, its your desired setting without having to recalibrate the binoculars tripod adaptable what this basically means is the front dust cap can be unscrewed uh, revealing a, a thread over there and then through um, you can attach a, a tripod adapter uh, into the thread um, which then in turn will attach to your binoculars so for anyone who wants to get the steadiest view possible or wants to train the binoculars in a specific area over long periods of time uh, so for example I know artists for example want to keep a binocular in a specific place uh, without it moving and you know to, to go back and look at it over and over again uh, it's a it's a nice feature to have Oh, a little guy just come and landed on the. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the 
on the iCub base uh, is it's quite thick, really comfortable. It doesn't have quite the curve that you see on some of the binoculars. Um, so, you know, it perhaps doesn't fit around the, your neck and shoulders quite as well as some. I mean, it is curved um, a slight amount, if you can see it over there. What I do like is the, the quality of the, the connectors at the end. Uh, this feels really good and is made really nicely. Um, the strap actually attaches to the binoculars uh, through the loop on the side um, and looping back on itself through these sliders, um, as is very common on, on most binoculars and cameras and other, things, other equipment like that. The included carry case, uh, it's a soft carry case, um, it's fairly simple. On the back there's a, a, a loop so you can run it through your belt so if you want to carry the, um, your binoculars off your hip. Uh, it looks to be really well made. I like the fact it has a, a, a buckle um, as opposed to velcro or even a zip um, in the fact that when you open and close it it's, you know, it's much easier to make less noise. Than, than Velcro or something like that. Um, may not be important to some people, but if you're you know, wanting to stay hidden, um, getting up really close to a bird um, that's timid, um, being able to remain quiet and stealthy is, is, a, is an important feature. Um, the inside is, is well padded, and whilst it wouldn't really protect your binoculars from massive impacts, I mean, for day-to-day -day stuff, it, it's more than adequate. It doesn't come with um, its own um, straps. Um, this for me is not a problem because what you do is you, you thread your, the straps through the binoculars and then they can ca actually come out the sides of the, of the bag. Um, which, you know, for me is, is just, you know, having only one strap as opposed to two is, is less clutter, um, less to get tangled up in when you're walking around um, through the thick undergrowth and things like that. These Minus binoculars come with a, a fairly generic um, and standard instruction manual. You know, nothing, it gives you all the specifications of these and all the other ones in the series. Um, nothing special there, but what is special is Minox provide a what they call their comfort service uh, warranty with these binoculars. Uh, basically, uh, it's it's uh, warrants these binoculars again um, for 30 years, which is you know a really nice long time. They obviously really believe in their product and are uh, willing to uh, back that up with a, a nice 30-year warranty. So that concludes my quick walk around video of these uh, fantastic-looking Minox BL 8x4 binoculars. Far more details. Comparisons with other binoculars, uh, as well as full specifications, and where I go into all the you know, coatings used on the prisms, on the, on the optics, um, what the body's made out of, and it goes on and on and on. Please uh, take time to read my a full and really in depth review um, on my website. Uh, the link is in the description of the video below. Thank you.